Paul. I'm sitting here because it's raining outside. Oh. And uh, I'm somewhat happy because I was able to borrow an umbrella. Yes. And I got up early this morning, but I didn't get any phone calls. Now I had to sleep at the emergency couch. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I had sent some emails to those in law enforcement about um, my rights being violated. Mm. But I didn't get a phone call from my sons, and I didn't get a phone call from Marilyn. There seems to be some sort of question about uh, the validity, yes, of issuing court orders where there's no signature of the petitioner. <laughs> And I wasn't given any due process. And there's forgeries, right? <laughs> there's fraud. <Poo. laughs> and then there's the issuing of court orders since 2013 where the mailing address of the court order, yeah, was an address where I cannot communicate with either Mike or Marilyn. Poo. Now, I would have thought that last night you would have had my sons call me, <laughs> but you didn't. I would think it's a crime to knowingly uh, issue court orders where you know that I cannot receive uh, any documentation from the court because I was informed that if I contact either one of them, yes, that the authorities would be contacted and more than likely I would be arrested for harassment or trespassing. Yes! Now, uh, I don't know what you're doing today. Mm -hmm. But I had told you in approximately 2 million emails, what are you doing today? Uh, I told you that I wanted to speak to my sons. You decided that you were going to continue to violate the laws of the United States. Now, I've documented quite a few lawsuits. <laughs> And you decided to keep me homeless instead of actually enforcing the laws. <laughs> I gave you documentation that I wasn't in Squim, Washington. Oh, <laughs> and instead of me uh, being able to speak to my sons or Marilyn, <laughs> you decided that you would continue to violate the laws of the United States. That was your, your decision. You don't have to enforce the laws. Now, I know it's against the law to use forgeries. Mm -hmm. I know it's against the law to issue fraudulent court orders. <laughs> I know it was against the law to continue to have uh, all of the notices from the court to, going to an address where I wasn't able to, to find out what you were doing. <laughs> Now, uh, quite possibly, uh, you would consider enforcing the law today. <laughs> Because I'd like to speak to my sons. And I'd like to speak to Marilyn. <laughs> that picture of Susan Bowers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very fraudulent. So why don't you decide this morning that you're going to have my sons and Marilyn call me <laughs> so that I can speak to them? Why don't you decide that? Why don't you make the decision to enforce the laws of the United States? <laughs>